Hello, hello, welcome back. This is Fuzzfacer51, and I am back in Winterland with my Iron Golem in the background. <clears throat> we are in need of name tags because I see one has disappeared, we have another, and the other has taken the position of the librarian, and that's good. But instead of going out on a journey, maybe we can trade with this librarian because after... Researching this topic just a bit, I have found that I can simply trade with the librarian until it is a master librarian. When it becomes a master librarian, they will offer the trade of the name tag. And with the name tag, I'll be able to name my villagers so that they do not disappear. So that's going to be the plan for this episode, and it's going to be a wild one because it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. There's... No end to this. There's no end because who knows what they're going to ask of us. But let's start off by waking up our villager. Hello, villager. It is time to wake up. I I want to trade. Uh -huh. So what do you have? We have channeling and we have a bookshelf. We uh -huh. use our emeralds to get the bookshelves. And channeling is good for a for a trident, and we do not have the trident. But we've got lots of emeralds that we've saved up from our treasure hunts. And we have a few other treasure maps that we can go on explorations with. Wake up. It's time to trade. Let's get these bookshelves here. Two. Three. No. I need more emeralds. I need more emeralds uh -huh. for any kind of trade. Yes. But now I have three bookshelves. And we're going to place these bookshelves in the enchanting room. So that we can start building up that machine. Right, as soon as we get some bread in our stomach. Tummy. Good, good, good. Alright, and we'll go ahead and place a few bookshelves down here. One, two, and three. We need more bookshelves. Whoop, put some Minecraft, got the bees in the trees, and yep. That's the bees' knees, the Minecraft. Minecraft build a raft, ain't gonna float because you got no boat. I see, says the villager. What do we need? We need emeralds. We need emeralds to advance our trades, and so we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to find emeralds. We're going to find places to explore. Places to explore. Maybe we can go to the Nether Bastion anyways. And then after that, we'll see if we have any extra emeralds. We'll have maybe at least one at least one extra emerald. We'll save that emerald for later for safekeeping. And we're going to head into the nether and go to that nether bastion. And I really like the way this is set up. This is looking good. It really. Off the top on this one. We have a quick bridge that will take us right to the Nether Bastion. And I've never explored Nether Bastions before, but since we, since we know one's there, oh, and going into the Nether, here we are. Here we are in the Nether, and we will back onto that bridge. And I'm gonna make those zombie pigmen move. If not, if not, we can always make a little pathway around. Hey, what you doing here? Why don't you just... Oh, and you. Who are you? Zombie Pigment 2. Make a trip down to the lava pool. Yes, yes. And we'll take a quick right. Where we're going, where there's gonna be, where we're going, there's gonna be lots of hoglins. The hoglins are just so incremental. 
they just will attack you or they just pass you by and there's really no way to know what's going to go on with the hoglins we're gonna have to remain cool and calm stay above them we'll build pathways above their little heads and find a way find a way to get our treasure and bounce out of there How did we get there? How did we get to the Nether Bastion? Could it be that way. I think so. Could be. Oh, and here we go. Yes, yes, perfect, 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 perfect. Hmm. Hmm. Take some of this. I like this building block. It looks good in my base. And this is the this is the place I already explored. Must be. This is a maze. This is quite a maze we have here. Never explored one of these. And it doesn't seem like there's a good way. Hey, I'll take all of that. Lost our stuff. We lost our stuff. Could just hold off and make the iron farm. And I think. That's what we're gonna do. We cannot build the iron farm because we need a name tag. We need a name tag. What we're gonna do is just gather the resources and we're gonna put it in a little special place for us so we can come back to it and go right to building. We're making stone. Our stone's gonna be good for the brick. I'm taking a look at what else just a moment, I'm going to take a look at what else we need. We're going to need nine hoppers, and so that's 45. That's one, two, three, four, five times nine out to our local cave. We can't really go back to our underground cave anymore because we've depleted all the iron. Here is a good cave, yes. We need 45 iron. Here we go. We got a horde we gotta take care of here. Mm, a lot here, we got a lot. Who wants to breed? Come on. Baby cows, come on, baby cow. Of course, an example of the charade that my rhyme's gonna show when you push the play because I got my iron and it's going up. I got more iron in my cup than I even really need, and I got enough because I'm going deep into this cave. This cave is gonna behave because I know there's a lot of zombies in there that we're gonna have to fight and I don't really want to fight but we're gonna fight all night if that's what it takes because they're gonna catch on fire and have to die in haste because we got the smart hustle and they're taking the pizzas and hey I don't really have to go all the way to Lima to get my minecraft going. Where's the iron? 25. Hey we're almost to 45. Good job Cooper. Keeper is almost like an ally sometimes when you are fighting a mob. Can't get in here, can you? Wow. Where did your noise come from? From the end world. He's appalled. Look at that gaping mouth. He is offended. What's going on here? You dare, you dare, I dare. I got my ender pearl. Good, good, good. And we're smelting, and we're smelting, and we're smelting more. More iron. 35 right there. That's a good amount. That is a good, good amount of iron. We've got to wait for this iron to smelt. We've got to wait while we wait. We'll chop some wood down so that we can build the hoppers. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, we have a lot of cows here. Here, we'll make our... Make our chests. And that's well over the required amount. Then we will make our hoppers. How many can we make? Nine. We have ten hoppers. Okay, okay. Quite enough. Quite enough there. Now, we'll make a few chests. And that's enough. Sounded like rain there for a moment. Got our hoppers. Four chests. This doesn't sound like a lot, but we're going to need three beds. We'll need three beds and 12 signs. That's a bit of wood. We'll have to go out and get wood for that as well. We've got a lot of sheep in here. Waiting. Be sheared. Surprised how much we have already. We have eight gray wool, we have five white wool, and three black wool. That's enough for a lot of bits. To make our signs, we need the signs. We'll hold the lava up so that it will not fall. Our items will fall right through. Sweet iron, the good, good iron that we need. Now, I'll put those signs up. Then we'll make a few beds as well. And three light gray breads. Perfect. We'll just take those. Cause we'll need those anyways, and we'll take the three matching ones to make everything look good and congruent. We'll need a name tag. And since we don't have a name tag, we can't build this farm. Until we find a way to get a good name tag or two. We can't. We can't will have to be all we can make for now. We'll have to wait for this cobblestone to smelt. In the meantime, we can try to find an end portal. Right here. Hey, 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 how's it going? You fell in there. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not happy. Sorry, I'm gonna have to. Attack. Can't attack people. A little bit of iron right here. This is how we're gonna get our iron. The little city. A little town with scared villagers. Iron Golem will spawn. When it dies, of course, iron. Because it's an iron golem. And here I'm going to throw an ender pearl. We're going to try to find an end. An end. Base. And I see it go very far. Oh no. What I think I did is I tossed an end pearl instead of making it into a eye of ender. All right, all right. Taking it slow. Taking it slow here. But we've got our supplies needed for the iron machine. And one of my days off, I'll have to build it. Let's see, do we have everything? Just taking a quick look at our inventory, we've got... Four stacks of 64 ice. Almost four stacks of 64 stone brick. We've got two stacks of walls. Three beds. Excuse me, three beds. 
Three beds, four chests, ten hoppers, sixteen signs at least, and over ten staircase steps. And that's all we need, according to the guide that I've consulted. In another episode, we'll create this machine after I learn how to make it. And I think that's going to wrap it up for the episode. Thanks for watching. This is Fuzzfacer51, and this is going to wrap it up for the day. We've got a lot to work on. And just gathering these resources makes it seem like it's that much more work because we've got to. We still have to gather the resources for the creeper farm, too. If you like these videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell icon to get time sensitive alerts for Minecraft videos. And this is Fuzzfacer51 signing off. I'll see you in the next one.